new year welcome to you my name is dale and this is dale's addiction ah it's uh it's the second of january and uh, if you're not interested in story time i'm going to time stamp exactly when the unboxing takes place in the description box down below and while you're doing the admin may as well take a moment to hit that subscribe button and give me a thumbs up on this video because i know that you're going to love it did that sound really salesy then <laughs> i think it did sorry about that that's not my vibe at all so um yesterday i set out with all intentions of vlogging and i can probably just insert some footage here to prove that i tried to vlog but then when i got to the store i i just wanted to enjoy the peace of shopping originally i was going with mr addiction and you know his appetite for shopping is is not the same as mine and then i thought you know what i'm just going to enjoy this by myself peacefully no pressure catch up with my client advisor who really has become a friend over the years and we have a, a little bit in common so it was really nice um, just to have no pressure and i'm thinking it's going to be a really busy experience because as we all know, the 1st of January, the denim jacquard drop came. Um, I was expecting a lot of the spring-summer men's collection, but I didn't see any of that. So, spoiler, if you're watching for that, didn't see any of that. Um, and I came around the corner to the entrance of the boutique, and there was one person at 9.55, and it opened at 10 o'clock. And so her and I had a little chat and she said that she was just coming to have a look <laughs> and she ended up with like multiple, multiple things. So she wanted to be the first customer and she was of the new year. Um, and yeah, it was really lovely chatting to her to see what she was looking at and, uh, and she may have influenced me. I do have something else on order um, because she snapped up the only item of that description on the day and another item which I probably would have seen as more hyped than something that I actually wanted so but I will get into that once I show you what I've got because then it will make more sense um, so it was actually quite a relaxed shopping experience now I went into the store to actually have a look at the new release alma bag in the green and i'll put a picture of it up here i had it it was put aside for me there were two that had arrived into store and can i tell you the green of this bag is absolutely delightful it's like the most perfect green um it didn't come home with me because the strap the canvas strap is a shorter strap and some of the almas and I think I could be mistaken that came in these beautiful bright colors also had a second strap which was a uh, more like the traditional Alma strap so a thinner leather strap these ones don't and part of the attraction of wearing a, a a pop of color like this bag is to be able to wear it in a really casual way crossbody and yes I know I could put a Vachetta strap on it or I could put a monogram strap on it but this bag has silver hardware the green really is the feature and I think just having a nice green leather strap would have been perfect to show the bag off in all of its glory and when I looked at how hard I was going to be trying to make it work for me I just had to leave it there unfortunately and it really saddened me because I thought this was going to be my green bag but you know I'm still searching so I think a green leather strap would be a really hard aftermarket strap to find especially with silver hardware so if I have to try that hard to make it work it's probably not the right bag for me whilst that bag was out i did take a look at a few other bags and i have been chatting to a few of you on instagram who when i said i'd been to louis vuitton and you should get your butts in there or get online if you want something because things are selling out crazily um we we talked about a couple of styles and the first one that i wanted to share with you was the um the little multi-colored pochette um i'll put a picture of it in here 
This bag is glorious in person. Um, it is really puffy quilted lambskin and the twist lock doesn't function like the twist lock on the typical twist bags. It is kind of like an S lock underneath the twist. Um, and to be honest, that made me feel a little concerned about scratches on the hardware, but not just the hardware the 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 lamb skin as well which felt quite substantial compared to say a chanel lamb skin bag but there were so many delicate components to this bag um the color the strap was long enough to cross body it has a really substantial um gold chain across it so i think it's definitely an occasion bag it's not a bag that you'd wear every day for all of the reasons that i've i've mentioned but i tried that and i thought it was beautiful um, knowing me though, you know that I was, uh, I was drawn to the done but undone styles and I, um, had the opportunity to look at and try on the loop bag in the blue denim and this bag had me rattled. Um, I didn't, I, I really like interesting shaped bags as you can tell I've got, you know, I've got a few um, round bags. I've got the Louis Vuitton tambourine bag. Um, I thought the loop was a little bit like my my Prada bag, a little too similar. Um, crossbody, it sits a bit shorter, but because of the shape of it, it's actually quite comfortable to wear because it kind of um, sits right on your waist. But yeah, that one had me stumped for quite a while and there started to be a bit of a crowd building behind me looking at what I was going to reject so that they could get their hands on it. Um, and my, you know, my client advisor said, Dale, take your time, no pressure. And I'm like, cool, thank you. But uh, tell the people that are behind me, waiting, glaring at me, saying, hurry up and make your decision, woman, and please leave the bag behind that I want to buy. So uh, that brings me to the bags that I did buy. Um, when I, I'm going to show it to you now, and then I'm going to explain the thinking behind it. Did I say bag? I meant bags. <laughs> so here's my haul. Um, Louis Vuitton continues to deliver for me lately. Uh, it's really ticking a box. So I think I think I'm going to open up the big one first, and um, then I'm going to explain to you my thinking uh, behind this purchase. So this box, spoiler alert, is way bigger than it needs to be for the size of this bag and if you want to play the guessing game please go ahead okay you can see there oh maybe there wouldn't be another box that size it looks like I'm kind of doing some kind of Pilates move to open up this thing right okay so if you've played the guessing game now is the time for the big reveal one of the bags that I purchased is, I can't believe this, this is the Speedy 25 in the denim, uh, in the blue denim jacquard. And can I, I don't know if you can just get a glimpse of this, of the texture of this bag, but... I never ever thought in my life that I would buy another Speedy again, especially if you've seen my recent collection video where I talk about my Speedy 30 and how big it is and it's just a classic. Well, this one is the bandolier version. Um, but this style of bag has has been one of those ones that I've... I have to say, um, when I went to Paris, I kind of was lusting after because in... When when I saw women in Paris wearing this bag and across Europe, they wore it like quite mushed. Um, and I actually thought that that looked pretty chic because it was just like, it's a bag. Like that's, you know, we're not trying too hard to make it something that it's not. And, um, and I think the reason I haven't gone for monogram is all of the vachetta and then... Damia Abin is not kind of my favourite Louis Vuitton um, canvas, or as Connor says, Damia Abin. Uh, 
but this these are a lot of my favorite things um, we've got a fabric bag we've got texture we've got monogram and Nova Shedder leather beautiful navy blue leather with contrast stitching so it really is like jeans um, now inside of this bag hold on I was lucky enough to get one of the store stuffing pillows um, and I did not ask for it it was kindly offered to me uh, so that's great for storage I've got this adjustable strap and again it's a beautiful navy leather with the contrast stitching gold hardware and it just pops you know it's like jeans which I really really think works for it I'm glad it wasn't in the silver hardware and then inside of the bag you've got the back side of the fabric so it's just a stunning 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 bag it's like it's everything that I love in a bag this one is made in France as well and then I just want to open this up and get the lock out but just have a look at the um the beautiful gold writing on the navy it just really really pops I love it I love it and yes I have a Chanel denim bag and yes um, this lock is brand spanking new um, obviously but it's so so shiny it's not funny so I think I'm just gonna pop that on one of the d-rings and um, a little lock bag there and leave it be so um here is the speedy and see this is what i'm loving i'm loving this kind of mushy look i don't think i want an organizer for this to be honest i think i want it to look like a beaten up saggy denim bag um even though it's not beaten up but you can see on this side it has a lot more um of the distressed kind of fading um than the other side but i th i just it's just me in a nut like and a classic bag but in a non-classic style it's just how I roll with classics um, and if I show you the bag that I actually took with me which was probably influenced my decision is my Chanel denim from the 20c collection and the same thing this is Chanel but it's not Chanel and that's what I love about it so I've got two classic bags from two classic houses that are not classic at all and I really love that about this style of bag so um, I guess I'll, I'll open up the other one and then I'll tell you a bit about my thinking <laughs> so the other one comes in a much smaller bag you might be noticing and a much smaller box Now's the time to either say, Dale, you didn't, did you? Or I'm really excited to see what's in this box. And if you're really excited to see... <laughs> um, I'm glad. And if you think I'm ridiculous, then so be it. But inside of here... Hold on. <laughs> Even I can't believe this. it's not funny um this uh my SA and I we played around with these two together I mean look 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 how small it is <laughs> we played around with them the finish on this little bag oh god balance there is just spectacular look at the stitching look at everything it even has its own little zipper unfortunately this little thing doesn't come off but I'm going to show you how I hook it on to the front of my speedy in a second. I'm just trying to, um, I, we restuffed this bag and the stuffing in it, there's so much stuffing in it, it's not funny. I won't keep it stuffed um, because, again, done but undone. You cannot fit a card in this thing. You cannot fit, you could probably fit a lipstick but even then it would be painful to try and get the lipstick out so here's the bag without the stuffing and here's the opening and inside you can see that this one has been made in Italy and it has more of a microfiber lining on the inside just kind of pulling it open so that you can kind of get a glimpse of the inside of it but it's perfectly finished off like everything about this is stunning on such a teeny tiny little scale even it has 
I think probably the zips may be too big for it um, compared to everything else on the bag. But it's just so, so cute. Now, there's no way that you're going to see me walking around trying to be Cassie Thorpe doing the tiny bag energy thing because this bag would look like a pimple on me. It's just ridiculously tiny. But, but... We were playing around with it and, um, you know, Fendi are doing this thing where they're layering up bags and uh, and I'm like, well, why wouldn't we try and do that with my Speedy because that just seems to be the way that things are going at the moment. And I'm happy to tell you that it works and it looks so, so cute. So cute. So um, I'm going to insert some mod shots of me. Um, I'll put them over on this side here. Um, just wearing this bag. I tried this and the loop bag several times and I don't have pictures because I just wanted to enjoy my shopping experience. And I kept coming back to this and I kept coming back to it because I... I, I don't know I'm in the mood for a holiday or something and I'm like this is a perfect holiday bag because I don't really like bags that are this big but I like this bag because you don't have to put much in it but if you need to you can I can fit you know anyone who's seen a video on the speedy 25 before knows that you can fit so much in it you can fit a water bottle you can fit an umbrella you can fit all of your essentials so i'm not going to do a what fits in this because we know what will fit um and i'm actually happy for it to sag i really don't want it to look like a doctor bag i don't want to have that structure to it so i just kept coming back to it and and then i I couldn't leave this little baby there. Um, I just couldn't, I don't know, I was just drawn to the combination and I'm super, super happy with it. I think that this will work throughout all of the seasons where I live. So through spring, summer, winter and autumn, if you didn't know what all of the seasons were, um, I think it works with really pretty like outfits like the, the blouse that I'm wearing now and I think it would also work with great streetwear looks as well. I just think it's just, it's marvellous and yeah, I'm really happy with it. This denim collection, there are so many cool things, especially in the ready-to-wear. If you haven't already had a look, I'll, I'll just scroll um, my feed down the side here. But yeah, I... Um, I've I've just I don't know I I I watched Stella um, her video on her bag collection recently and how small it has gotten uh, compared to what it used to be and it had me thinking about why do I just what's the point of keeping these bags I mean I don't have people that in my life that enjoy them they're just things. And I'm like, I think if I want to try, if I want to try new things and like fashion, I want to explore new trends and things like that, then why wouldn't I use these liquid assets that I have around me to fund those things? So rather than having it all sitting around me, um, you know, and, and many, many dollars sitting around me, why not use it to kind of trade into new things and try new things and not have the stress and pressure of saving up and all of that jazz and using this as like a float to explore luxury. So I'm thinking 2022 for me might see my collection shift up and change around a little bit become more experimental be less worried about creating some kind of collection some bag empire that at the end of the day can't come with me um so rather use it to experiment and have fun and play around and she who dies with the most bags is still dead um so why not live uh, every day in the moment and try new things and experiment so 2022 is probably going to see my channel and the bags that I have around me change around quite a bit I think I'm going to throw out some of the rules that even though I deny that I have rules I'm going to throw some of those out and um, yeah and just enjoy 
being more playful with my bag collection and I am so happy that I have these two little bags uh, in my collection they really are me I now have three denim bags if you want to call this little baby bag a bag um, three denim bags and this in a nutshell is what my collection is all about so if you have gotten this far I'm really keen to know what you think about the denim collection. If there's anything that you have your eye on from the collection, um, once again, I'm sorry I didn't vlog, but I was just being a bit selfish. I just wanted to enjoy. I just wanted to enjoy shopping. Um, and yeah, if there's anything that you like and what you think of my choices here and my um, my thinking about the how I'm going to approach my bag buying in 2022. If you have liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Sundays and sometimes you might get some extras as well. So I look forward to seeing you in my next one. Ciao for now.